Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to the class ECM 366 Civil Engineering Quantities and Estimation In this video, we are going to cover topic Taking off quantities for building and civil engineering works And we are going to cover and focus on BIM And this slide show the cost and program outcome for this chapter And this is the lesson outcome for this chapter Let's do the exercise on beam. Basically, we need to prepare taking off and also bill of quantities for this reinforced concrete beam. Provided that we have six numbers of this beam as shown in figure below. Provided that the length is 2.6 meter and for the top reinforcement, it used 2R12. For the bottom, it has 2R18. And for the stirrup, it used R6 with the spacing of 150 mm. The diagram provides with the cross section of section AA. So as we can see here, given that the breadth is 135 mm and the depth of the beam is 375 mm, the size of column is 135 times 125 mm. So basically 135, the breadth and also the width is 125. Also provided the cover is 25mm for both column and beam. And this slide show the solution for the taking off. First we look at the concrete. So the solution for the time sink will be 6 because based on the question we have total 6 number of the beam. And then for the length we take 2.6 as provided in the question and we need to minus with 2 half column. As you can see in the figure, the dimension of 2.6 meter is including two half column, one and two, and that's why in the calculation we need to minus with these two half column. And provided in the diagram, the full column will be 125. So for half column, it should be 125 divided by two. And based on our calculation. The length for only the beam will be 2.475 meter. 2.475 is the length for only the beam. If we make this beam as 3D, you can see the length is 2.475 meter. The breadth will be 135 and the depth of the beam will be 375 mm. Bear in mind, for concrete, basically the quantity that we are going to determine is the volume. Volume you can get from the equation L multiply with B multiply with D 2.475 multiply with the breadth 0.125 and multiply with the depth 0.375 and you will get the volume. Hence, to solve this taking off, basically after we finish with this time sink, which is 6, and then we put for the dimension column, the length for the beam will be 2.475, and this is followed by the breadth and followed by the depth of the beam. You just multiply the time sink, multiply with all the dimension, and you will get the volume for the concrete for 6 number of beam, and it is 0 0.67 meter cube of concrete. Next, we are going to solve for the reinforcement. In figure stated that this beam has the top reinforcement and also it has the bottom reinforcement and due to different size of reinforcement used for top and bottom we need to calculate separately for top and bottom first we are going to calculate for the top reinforcement which is it used 2R12 meaning that for the top reinforcement it has two number of R12 for example for this 3D beam Let's say for the top it use R12 and for the bottom it use R18. So we can put for the top it use 4 R12 because it has 4 number and the same thing for the bottom it use 4 R18. And this also can be indicated in the cross section of this beam. You can see there is 4 number of main reinforcement, the red color on top and 4 number of reinforcement on the bottom. Due to two number of reinforcement is used for the top, then the time sink will be 6 slash 2 because we have 6 number of beam and then on each beam, there will be two number of reinforcement used on the top of the beam. Next, we are going to calculate the length for one top reinforcement. First, we take the length based on the rowing is 2.6 meter and then we need to plus with 2 half column and we need to minus with 2 concrete cover. Based on the figure provided, 
basically this is the concrete cover and provided it is 25 mm here also will be the concrete cover with the same thickness which is 25 mm and that's why based on calculation we take the length 2.6 meter then we plus with two half column because of this half column and another half column and after that we minus with two cover and as a result we get the length of this reinforcement for the top the next step we need to plus with two band because this top reinforcement have bands on both end and basically after we complete the calculation we will get the total length for one top reinforcement length plus two half column and minus two cover next we need to add with two band and to calculate the length of band basically we use 5d because the type reinforcement used for top is mild steel from the symbol of R so 2 because we have 2 band 5D 5 the diameter is 12 so 0 0.012 and the total length for the 2 band will be 0 0.12 and the total length for the top reinforcement will be 2.795 we can round up to be 2.8 and this value we are going to put in our dimension we multiply the time sink 6 times 2 times with 2.8 and we are going to get 33.6 meter of R12 so this is the solution for the top reinforcement next we solve for the bottom reinforcement based on the drawing it used 2R18 the same step we take the length we plus with 2 half column and then we minus with 2 cover and we add with two band because this reinforcement use the mild steel based on the symbol R here the length for the band will be 5D so 5 times the diameter of reinforcement 18 0 0.018 meter and then we get the total length for the two bands for the bottom reinforcement is 0 0.18 and the total length for one bottom reinforcement is 2.855 we round up to be 2.86 and for the time sink 6 slash 2 because we have 6 number of beam based on question and for the bottom reinforcement it has two number of R18 then for the dimension we take from our calculation just now we put in this dimension and then we multiply 6 multiply with 2 multiply with 2.86 we get 34.32 meter of R18 after this we are going to solve for the stir up as you can see in this 3d diagram of beam the gray color of reinforcement is stir up basically there will be a numbers of stir up and you need to determine the number of stirrup based on the spacing provided in the diagram and as you can see here for each stirrup basically it will have two anchorage the one that i highlight with the green color and if we refer to the cross section diagram the stirrup will look like this four sided in shape and it will have two number of anchorage the length for one anchorage will be 12d if the anchorage is mild steel and it will be 15d if the anchorage is high tensile steel first we are going to calculate the length for one stirrup we take the length 0.375 the vertical length and then we minus with two cover basically this is the cover and each cover will be 25 mm after we minus two cover basically we will get the length of syrup for this side which is 0.325 next we are going to calculate the dimension of syrup at the horizontal side so we take 0.125 based on the diagram minus with two cover it will be 0.075 so 135 we minus with two cover 25 and 25 mm and basically we will get the length for horizontal side of the stirrup which is 0 0.075 and the next step we are going to add up the two dimension that we calculate just now 0 0.325 plus with 0 0.075 and we are going to get 0 0.4 basically 0 0.4 is the dimension of the two side one vertical side plus with one horizontal side it will be 0 0.4 the next step after we get 0 0.4 we are going to multiply with 2 because we can get the total length for the four side of this stirrup 
and it will be 0 0.8 and as we discussed just now this stirrup will have two number of anchorages where for one anchorages the line will be 12d because this anchorage use mal steel r6 after we get 0 0.8 we need to plus with two anchorages so two anchorage for one anchorage the line will be 12d so it will be 24d 24 multiply with the diameter of the reinforcement and we are using r6 meaning that the diameter of reinforcement is 0 0.006 meter and for two anchorages the length will be 0.144 you sum up with the length for the four side of stirrup you will get 0.944 so this is basically the total length for one stirrup next we need to determine number of stirrup exist in the beam based on this diagram basically there will be many stirrup in this beam but the data provided is only the spacing for the stirrup which is 150 mm this spacing basically the distance between each of stirrup and you can apply the formula number of stirrup equal to length divided by spacing plus one based on this diagram this length 2.6 is including the two half column and you need to determine only the length of the beam itself so it will be 2.475 as we calculated previously then 2.475 divided by spacing 0 0.15 plus with 1 and the number of stirrup that you can get is 17.5 and you need to run up and it will be 18 number of stirrup in each beam after you get 18, you can put this value inside of your time sim column 6 slash 18 because we have 6 number of beam and in each beam, you are going to have 18 number of stirrup in the dimension column, we put the value of length of one stirrup which is 0 0.944 finally, we multiply the time sim 6 times with 18 and times with 0 0.944 and we get 101.52 meter of stirrup made from 6 mm diameter of mild steel lastly we are going to solve for the formwork basically for the formwork we can divide into three sections we have outer side inner side and soffit for formwork basically we are going to calculate the area of formwork for outer side we take the line 2.6 and then we plus with two half column and it will be 2.725 this we do we are going to put inside the dimension and 0 0.375 is basically the depth of the beam the time sim will be 6 because we have 6 number of beam and after we multiply we are going to get 6.131 meter squared of sawn timber for outer side next for inner side we are going to take the length 2.6 and then we need to minus with 2 half column and it will be 2.475 this value we are going to put in the dimension 0 0.375 is the depth of the beam the time sink will be 6 after we multiply we are going to get 5.569 meter squared of sawn timber and lastly for the soft fit the length will be 2.6 and we need to minus with two half column it will be 2.475 you we put in the dimension and 0 0.15 is the breadth of the beam time sink is 6 we multiply and we are going to get 1.856 meter squared of sawn timber based on this diagram the outer side will be this one the inner side will be this formwork and the soffit will be at the bottom of the beam if we refer to this diagram the soffit will be the formwork under the beam for outer side the reason why we need to add with two half column basically because the length of the beam we can include the column but for inner side we need to minus with two half column because it will be stuck with other structure for example another beam or another column the same thing for the soffit the length must be minus with two half column because the soffit will be stuck with other structure for example the column or the beam if we make this beam as 3d the inner and outer will be at the side of the beam let's say this is the outer side and this side will be the inner side when we are calculating this area of this outer side we take area equal to length multiply with that 375 the same thing for the inner the area will be 
the length multiply with depth which is 0 0.375 but different for the soffit because it is located at the bottom of the beam so the area will be the length multiply with the breadth which is 0 0.125 the next step after we complete with taking off we are going to proceed with preparing bill of quantities in BQ we are going to put all of the material that we have calculated in our taking off for example for concrete we sum up we get the total quantity is 0 0.67 the unit is cubic meter and then for enforcement based on the taking off we get the total length for R18 is 34 0.32 but this is the length we need to convert into the mass in the unit of kilogram so what we need to do is we use the formula of pi r squared multiply with length and then we multiply with the density of the steel please bear in mind the density of the steel will be 7850 kilogram per meter cube 3.14 is the pi and then 0 0.009 will be the radius of the steel because the diameter is 18 mm and then 34.32 is the length of the R18 that we calculated in our taking off and multiply with the density we are going to get the mass which is 68.52 kilogram and then for R6 we are going to apply the same formula pi R squared multiply with L and multiply with the density so this is the quantity that we get for R12 is 29.82 kg R6 is 22.52 kg and lastly for the sawn timber we sum up for the outer inner and soffit we get 13.556 square meter of sawn timber basically the rate we are going to get from the supplier and after we get the rate we can determine the total cost and lastly we can determine the grand total for this beam that's all for this video for beam calculation for taking off and build of quantities i hope you can understand the basic concept in preparing taking off and build of quantities for beam see you again in our next video assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh